Thank you very much. So, um, thank you also for those inspiring remarks um, from all the opening remarks. Um, I've interpreted my role slightly differently. I'm not here to inspire. I'm here to uh, <laughs> to encourage you to appreciate uh, what we are about to experience and the people that made it um, possible. So briefly, I have two things I want to say. I want to say why we are here, and and secondly, why we appreciate this group of people. And, and, and the first one on why we're here, I will introduce Peace Nexus slightly. So we're also a small Swiss foundation. So obviously, being in Zurich, it's closer to our geography and, and also hearts. And, and we, when I say small, it's unfortunately we're not a big grant giver donor. We're not that kind of foundation. So what we've focused um, our limited resources on is two things. Um, we support peace-building actors, and that's mostly organizations, including NGOs, not only NGOs, um, to tackle the challenges that they see are blocking their effectiveness. And so we do a lot of organizational development work, and that is really supporting organizations to change what they see is important to change internally. Um, but we also want to create space for organizations to try new things, and in the way of the world and project funding, obviously that research and development phase isn't funded. I mean, people fund perfectly formed, flashy ideas that have been worked through. And we know that that takes a lot of preparation and consultation. So this is our kind of innovation work. And we are here um, partly because of that work. And we are supporting Build Peace for a couple of reasons. I mean, let's just, I want to get personal right at the beginning. One of the reasons is that we really like you guys. And you <laughs> It's, it's an amazing team. This is a build piece team that creates this um, because they're volunteers principally. It's a community of volunteers. So it's not an organization in only a kind of formal sense. Um, and, and we appreciate that dedication and commitment. We also think that the, this conference and the fellowship has a very important role to play in fostering innovation. You need a community um, to support each other if you're really going to dare to do things differently. And Bill Peace has, a, in our view, a big role to play in creating that community. And secondly, the fellowship program, as you've heard of it already, I think it has all the ingredients you need to create space and support um, individual and collective efforts. And what we particularly appreciate is not only that they ask those questions at the beginning, I mean, you know, what is, what is needed in this particular place, in this context. So the emphasis is really on good peace building, with, and then ask, you know, is the tool appropriate, and what kind of tools would it help? And that it's, it's not only about tech. So tech, yes, but only if it answers those questions first. And, and fundamentally, it's, it's the embeddedness um, in the context. So the, the fellows are chosen because they are inspiring and good ideas, but also because they are embedded in an organization and, in a, and have the potential to form coalitions that can make that shift. Um, and finally, we really appreciate the way that fellows are supported as well. So um, in, through the mentoring and through links with other members of the community, because it does take mentorship and accompaniment as well as links to others to make, um, enable people to make a, a difference. So finally, that's just the end of what I want to say, that we are very privileged and grateful to be associated with this, and we would like you all to share in our appreciation of your piece even before the conference starts. <laughs>